Hey, it's Stacy from Proven Winners Color Choice Flowering Shrubs. And one of the questions that I'm hearing a lot at this time of the year is people asking whether they should prune or whether they can prune their panicle hydrangea right now. Now these are little lime hydrangeas, but panicle hydrangea is any kind of PG hydrangea, limelight, quick fire, uh, firelight, etc. So people want to know if they can or should prune it now. And the answer is yes, you can. But I always recommend spring pruning for two reasons. And the number one reason is this simple. Would you rather look at this all winter? Or would you rather look at this all winter? For me, the answer is pretty clear, but it's up to you. The other reason that I like to recommend spring pruning is because in spring, when the new growth starts to emerge on the stems, you can see exactly where the buds are alive and you can also see the size of the buds. And the bigger bud you cut back to, the stronger and more vigorous the growth that comes out of it will be. So you can basically just make sort of a more informed pruning decision in spring when you actually see the new growth. But I know lots of people go away for the winter and won't be back in time for proper pruning in spring, or some people just prefer the look of it, or some people are just so busy in spring, they just wanna have one less chore to do. So all of those are perfectly valid reasons to prune your panicle hydrangea right now. And I'll show you how to do it. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that the plant is completely dormant, or in other words, has lost all of its leaves and any leaves that remaining are you know, dead and come off really easily. If the plant isn't completely dormant, pruning can stimulate new growth if we get a warm snap in fall. So not ideal then. All you do is shorten the branches back by about one third their total length. So for example, here, this branch is coming all the way out from the bottom. So I'd say it's about three feet long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it back to above a bud about 12 inches down. And then a branch like this, where you have three separate uh, stems coming, you can either shorten each individual stem or take this whole thing back to a bud. Okay, so that's it. It really is that simple. Like I said, you can't screw it up as long as you leave roughly two thirds to half of the plant intact. If you have any questions, you know, you can always reach us on the Proven Winners website or through our Facebook page, facebook.com slash PW Color Choice.